Hello out there in YouTube land. I've got another humble haul. Time again for another episode. Episode number 12. Uh, I, think that, uh, I think that quite a bit has happened uh, since my last haul. Uh, a little bit of movers and shakers out there in the YouTube world. I've, got, uh, I've heard some good news and bad news. Uh, apparently there's there's quite a bit of drama out there. Uh, something happened to uh, one of my subscribers, uh, Don the Comic Book Junkie, or maybe I subscribed to him, I forget. Uh, I think I subscribed to him. Uh, I don't know what the heck happened there. I, part of me cares, part of me, uh, uh, part of me is glad that I wasn't involved. But I have no idea what happened. So, um, if anybody has any idea, mm, I don't know, maybe you can add some in the Add something in the comments, comment section. Um, one more thing happened. I found out today that a good, uh, good uh, person I subscribe to and a uh, person I know every that I see every so often, Spidey Man, Spidey. I'm sorry, Spidey fan. Uh, Chris is almost giving up the the YouTube profession for another profession you know I, I'm kind of sad that uh, we won't see him or hear from him uh, as often as we like but on the other side we uh, we uh, hear that he's gonna be a an RA congrats congrats um, I know he's gonna be doing some big things probably about 10 years I'll probably go into his office and have me bend over and cough but uh, uh, I'm happy to hear good things from him. Um, so before we get on, you know, I always have to go and say, uh, give a little shout out to my new subscribers. Uh, let's start it off real quick. Uh, we've got a hello to Dave F., Mask Marvel, Michael Gant Gantner, uh, Amanda Eagle, C. Shaver 00, Comic Book Gamer 03 Wilson and Archangel. Not a very long list, but I'm very happy to have you guys, a little humble uh, new subscribers. Thank you very much. And may I add, I am one, one new subscriber from 100 subscribers. That's got to hurt just a little. But I do, I do appreciate all the humble subscribers. Thank you very much. And hopefully, maybe I'll go over 100 subscribers in my next video. Who knows? Um, only time will tell. So anyway, a uh, little something, got a little stack here. First one was, I found another Micronauts number eight. First appearance of Captain Universe. I think we got enough captains in this universe, but oh, he came along uh, very, fairly early in the game, uh, probably uh, late 70s, 1970s, so I, I think he can stay. And uh, I hear something might happen to him. Uh, just rumors, though. Just rumors. Uh, so I did. Man, you know what? I drove all over the place today. I must have gone to like five different places. And you know when you go to five different places, you don't come up with much? Oh, but um, anyway, I, I found something. I found something. Uh, whew, I'm almost at the end of this little this little series here uh spider-man blue and you know what i i would have finished it today all five books i probably was i had just one but i needed to complete it because i really like this it's a uh uh jeff Loeb and tim cell uh uh series which i really like a lot but anyway um i would have completed it today but the one book uh that i needed to complete it was really rough shape and I decided to put it back. So anyway, I got uh, book number one, um, book number four, and book number five. Great artwork. Um, uh, I'm just gonna have to hold off reading it until I get that last, uh, the last uh, book. Uh, here's something. Uh, went uh, checked out a guy who had about ten long boxes in. It was quite a drive, and I only found two books from him. But anyway, something very interesting, guys. And I'll only tell you if you promise not to snag them all up. Who am I kidding? You guys are going to tell everybody. You guys always do. Everybody does. Everybody that watches these videos. 
next thing you know everybody watches them and next thing you know we can't find these books not a big deal but i'll tell you show you a little something so i was trying to i've been trying to finish this little six part series of captain america the bloodstone hunt and it's not the fact that um i can't find the crossbone issues i can find those no problem um it's just trying to find the rest of them at the right price but here's something that's probably might drive up the price a little bit. I'll show you in just a second as soon as I find it. It's almost tore. Oh, here it is. Here is something that I didn't realize unless you read the whole series or read this book. You don't realize that um, Zemo's father, Henrik Zemo, is uh, reemerges in. Um, Captain America 362. Um, it's very brief, but he, he they re, they resurrect him through this uh, through these bloodstones, and here it is right there. Uh, he lives again. Who knew? Not me for certain. But uh, anyway, that was that was pretty interesting. Look out for that. And uh, while I was out here, I went into a comic book store found some books and I was a sucker I became a sucker for the hype um, oh you know what if it pans out great if not I'm only out a couple bucks but I'll show you I'll show you what I came into the hype for I broke down and got an X-Force number 19 it was in great shape and I haven't even opened it but you know if um, what they say about the new Deadpool um, movie is true yeah Cool, great, I'm happy about that. <clears throat> found another Ultimate Fallout number four. And you know what, I found three of them today and I was dumb, dumb enough to only pick up one. But see, I'm not really sure about the hype on this. Um, I don't know if, uh, if the cinematic universe is ready for Miles Morales. So I, I gambled cautiously. This one cost me five bucks, I wasn't wasn't prepared to shell out 15 for three and um wonder woman 274 this is um a first appearance of one of the um uh cheetahs it might not be the one that they're going to be using in the movie but thank you vin crew i watched your video and uh saw this i don't mind that i didn't find the um, the the other series, Wonder Woman number seven and eight. But I'm really happy I found this one. Um, it's pretty cool. The last page looks really neat. Let me show it to you guys really quick, really quick, really quick. Every time I watch a video, I love hearing the opening of a bag. I don't know if it's just me. Um, I don't know. It just sounds neat. I like it. Let's see. Let's see, is it the last page? No, it's not the last page because the last page has a separate story. But there it is, look, Claws of the She-Cat. They don't even call her, see, they call her Cheetah here. You are the Cheetah. But at the bottom it says Claws of the She-Cat. I don't get it, it's kind of like a Tiger thing. They did that to Tiger too in the Marvel, um, in the Marvel Universe. I don't care. And, oh, a new book, hooray. I didn't go out and buy this, but I heard it was really good. One of my friends picked it up for me. Uh, I, I heard it's good. I'm going to read it. I'm just a little, I'm a little overwhelmed with all the the Silk number ones and Spider-Gwen news. And it's kind of, just watching this video has kind of burned me out. But, um, you know, I'll take the word for it. I heard that's that's a good series also. I came in too late in the game. Late in the game on this one. Is it too late, guys? I don't know. Um, Firestorm number 23. Oh, let's see. Okay, couple more. Couple more. Um, I don't know what happened. I went on eBay and something clicked in my head to say, hey, I should have an Elvira's House of Mystery number one. I don't know why. Oh, well. I have one. Great. Um, I thought it was kind of cool to not even have a single horror book in my um, in my collection. So I started off. Uh, I didn't start off with vintage. So it's relatively modern, and uh, I, I guess it's cool. Kind of like it. 
There is a Dave Stevens um, cover on number 11 that's supposed to be really great. I saw a picture of it, and I think I might be checking that one out. So anyway, I sold some stuff after um, uh, after the last haul. Not necessarily the books that were in my last haul, but I sold some stuff. And I got a couple um, sweet books. I got uh, Daredevil number 81. It's the first meeting of Black Widow and... Uh, and uh, Daredevil, but um, after doing a little bit of research, and I'm not not really sure. I hear this is a reprint of oh, I think it's Str Strange Tales number 132. But I'm gonna have to double check on that. If you guys can verify that, let me know. I'd really like to know. And then I did a little finagling, and I caught I came across one of my grails. There's my grail. Yay! X-Men number 101. I am so happy I have this. It's not perfect condition, but I, I dare say that this is probably probably an 8, um, and which is good enough for me. I'm so happy. Trying to find one of these in a, in a higher grade. I, I don't know if I really want to spend a whole lot of money on this book. Um, I'm really interested in the storyline. It's a, it's a, a Cockrum and a in Claremont uh, issue, which I'm, I'm desperately seeking out to complete, and it's expensive. But uh, the only thing I see here on the front cover, front cover does a whole lot more than the back cover. The back cover probably has uh, uh, a little bit of a, a crease, a non-color breaking crease, so I'm okay with that. It's all white. A uh, little, little tiny crease on the corner there. Uh, little rounded corner here not bad not bad uh and on the spine i probably have got little tiny creases there not terrible i can live with it i'm good i found other uh copies like this well in the over the hundred dollar range and oh this is just in this just in uh i have a helper with me who is this who is this Ah, it's my friend Sophie. It's actually not my friend. She's my daughter. Say hi, Sophie. Hello. Okay, great. All right. Now, that's the end of my normal haul. Um, okay, once again, uh, Spidey Fan has, uh, has asked his subscribers to include their buyer's remorse stuff in their videos. And I just happened to come across two buyer's remorses uh, issues in my haul I, I just picked up uh since the last haul so i was like oh, what a great opportunity to, to do that thank you spidey fan and may i add that this is the first contest video i'm actually doing i'm usually not one to do or subscribe uh not subscribe but to uh enter contest i want i want uh the people to know that you know i'm that's not out for their comic books and money but you know, when Spidey fan says, hey, I got three, 30, no, 30 bucks in my PayPal account. Hey, 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 I'm there. So anyway, um, I go into the store and I find this. Uh, it's about, I go into the dollar bins. Believe it or not, I go into the dollar bins. This is the first thing I see. I grab it because there's this other guy right next to me. He's picking out a bunch of new books. So I'm like, okay, I'm safe. Um... But as soon as uh, as soon as I lay my hands on it, you can feel there's something wrong with it. Like, oh no, it's it's uh it's warped. It's really lumpy. It's lumpy. <laughs> I was, I was it's like lumpy, it. much like much like the oatmeal I, I eat in the morning. It's kind of like um like. Like someone tried to like crumble it up or something. Well, no, no, it's not crumbled up. I know, but what this really is, lumpy. and you guys can probably see that. Oh, what's that? water damage and you know what it's not the bad kind of water damage because there's no um there's no water stain so i'm wondering you know somebody didn't flush it down the toilet or anything it wasn't flushed down the toilet it just got some some moisture or something maybe like somebody left it out in the in the damp like uh, maybe damp like, rain like someone was washing their hand and the comic was right there mm. I don't know, but anyway, you guys, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is the um, first appearance of Hellboy, Mike Minola's Hellboy. Oh, talk about buyer's remorse. 
Um, you know what the fact is? It's not that I, it's not that I regret spending a buck on this. It's just one of those things we've all been through. It we we get a great price on stuff, and man, what a terrible way to go to have such a great issue. Um, wow, I don't even know if a pressing can do that, can outdo that stuff. But if it does, I'm gonna find out because that's really a great thing for for some people to have. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Hellboy, but man, for those who are, what a oh, what a terrible thing. So anyway, um, my other issue that has buyer remorse, I happened to pick up uh, since the last haul. I picked up another Silver Surfer number 44, first appearance of Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah, that big old metal glove with all the stones on it. Um, well, I think I showed one in my last video, and um, for those of you who are in the California area, Spidey fan and knows exactly who I'm going to be talking about. At Frankenton, at Frankincense, there's this guy that smells like cigarettes, and uh, he knows. It. As soon as I mentioned that, everybody's like, "Oh yeah, that guy." Well, the guy who smells like cigarettes uh, sold me this one. And you know what? He doesn't disclose if there's anything wrong with it. But once again, um, this one, and you can't even, you can't even tell, uh, even if I were to do a close up with this, but you can see some wrinkling. There it is. Uh, you can see some wrinkling with that. So there's, you know, there's a little bit of water damage on this one also. And I, I wish that that some vendors would just put up a buyer beware or something, but not even that, not even that. And that, to spend 10 bucks on something that's not in uh, pristine shape, especially when I just bought another one for 10 bucks, that's gotta suck, that really hurt. So um, with that, uh, I'll bid you guys farewell. Uh, hopefully the next time you hear from me, I'll have that one more subscriber and do a big old hoopla about having 100 subscribers. Hoopla! Hoopla! Uh, so, this is uh, Comic Fan signing out. I'll uh, see you next time. Bye bye.